Agar plates, made easy. So let me show you everything you guys are gonna need to make your own agar plates. Super easy and super simple. So first thing you're gonna wanna get is some sterilized packaged Petri dishes. You can get some off of Amazon. I'll link uh, two links that I've been using and they work great. Some grafting tape to seal your plates when you're done pouring. Get yourself some warm water. You're gonna wanna get some media bottles to make and pour your agar. And you're going to want some stir bars to stir up your agar media a lot easier with the magnetic stir plate. And of course you're going to need a pressure cooker to sterilize your agar. You're going to need some agar powder. And as for the agar recipe, you guys can use whatever you want to use. Uh, there's literally hundreds of different recipes, uh, different things you can use in your agar to grow out mycelium. Uh, this one, I'm just going to use the three that I've been using for a while, but I'm always changing recipes because mycelium loves that anyways. So go ahead and pour in our water to our media bottles. And I like warm water because it mixes everything really nicely. And this isn't necessary, but you can get some food grade uh, food coloring. I just got this huge pack on Amazon for super cheap. I just kind of like that I can change up the colors. It makes it fun. We will use 10 grams of agar powder per 500 milliliters of water. One gram of soy peptone. This stuff smells really bad, by the way. Four grams light malt extract. And then about four grams sorghum syrup. So just a little bit and food coloring, which is optional, but we're going with a Christmas red. Go with a sky blue for the second one. Now I'll fill my pressure cooker with water. And also remember to unscrew the cap a quarter turn so that you can have excess pressure escape from the jars. Add some foil to the top and then place them into your pressure cooker. And you wanna cook this for 30 minutes at 15 PSI. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. Our pressure cooker is depressurizing. While it's doing that and cooling down just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, change my clothes. I've been doing all sorts of stuff today and I don't wanna bring anything into the lab here. Now that everything is cooled down, we can get our Pyrex bottles into the lab here in front of the flow hood. So we will go ahead and stir the first bottle and have the other one sitting behind it to cool slightly slower than the one that's spinning on the stir plate. We will temp the first bottle and we're sitting at 146, the one behind it 150, which is great. So we're gonna wipe down the outside of the Petri dish package and knock it over. And we're now sitting about 132. So here's when I want to cut the bag open and get the plates set. We're at 127 and 131 and that works for me. So in a nice easy motion, you're going to grab the bottom plate and start pouring your way up the stack of Petri dishes. So agar will solidify at around 109 degrees, 108 degrees. So when you pour around 120 and 130, I like to call that the sweet spot. So you can kind of take your time. So we are done pouring and we are gonna let this uh, sit in front of the flow head to get rid of some of that condensation. So it has been around an hour, so I will go ahead and start wrapping these plates. A lot of people let them sit overnight, but uh, I've ran into some issues with that and I honestly don't mind a little bit of condensation on my plates. And you know, after they sit for a couple of days, they look just fine. So go ahead and get your grafting tape or your parafilm. So I will start at the top of the stack here and I'll go ahead and start wrapping my plates with the grafting tape. And I make two full wraps around just for one added layer of protection for my agar plates. And then I will go ahead and just get the rest of these done. And this is more of the tedious part of the job. I can't tell you it's my favorite part, but it needs to be done. So once you guys get the method down, you guys are going to be pouring so many plates. It's just absolutely awesome that you can do it yourself and you know they turn out really nicely super clear no contamination great way to do it
And once you guys get the technique down for pouring plates, you can start going out healthy mycelium. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you learned something. And as always, much love and peace out.